artists. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use search engine optimization to make sure that your portfolio website shows up in Google. I know it can be pretty frustrating if you know you search your name and your website or your blog doesn't show up until like page four or five, right? Now, I used to think that some mysterious algorithm kind of decided how things show up in Google. And while that's partly true, there's definitely ways that you can kind of help your website portfolio or your blog start ranking on the first page, um, maybe even as number one in Google search. So I actually didn't know anything about search engine optimization until about eight months ago. It wasn't something we talked about in art school. Nobody had ever brought it up to me before. So one day I just saw this acronym SEO and I was like, what, what is that? So since then I've done some research and now I actually help my company show up in Google search. That way we can get traffic to our website and attract clients. So today I will explain how I'm plan on using search engine optimization to improve the search ranking of my current portfolio website. That way it'll rank number one and hopefully you can do the same. All right, so depending on how popular your name is, I can't guarantee you will be number one, but there are ways to make sure that your website shows up early on in search. So I'm going to go over the key concepts that you need to understand to start optimizing your website. Um, that way you have the best chances at getting discovered when somebody searches your name. First of all, you need to do some reverse engineering. Think about what people might be typing into Google to find you. For example, what if your name is really common? So say Ashley Jones is an illustrator. They might be looking up Ashley Jones drawing or Ashley Jones illustrator, stuff like that. Obviously, you know, there are a million Ashley Jones in a million different fields. So you probably can't expect to show up on that first page. If you're like me and you have a really unusual name, you might not have that problem. Regardless, I personally still think it's important to make sure that somebody understands what I do and what to expect when they click on my website portfolio. So I've added subheaders like Amanda Melindo, artist and photographer. That way everyone knows what my interests are and what to expect when they look at my portfolio. So there's a lot that goes into the Google algorithm. Um, there are these things called Google bots that are actually website crawlers. They're just like little pieces of code that get sent into your website. And then it basically kind of signifies where you should be showing up when somebody searches in Google. And right now there are three known ways that you can improve your search ranking in order to start focusing on improving your website so that you actually show up in search. So the very first one is authority. And authority is basically how long your website has been active. If you're just getting started, there's really no way to control this. Typically a website is considered mature after about two years. Doesn't mean that you're not going to show up in Google on the first page for two years, but it does mean that you're not going to easily rank for certain keywords for a while. If you want to get around this, you could buy a domain that has been matured. So you would probably have to buy it off of like a third party domain registry or something like that, but the prices are going to be ridiculously inflated and I wouldn't really recommend it. Focus on the other two strategies. That way you're not spending a bunch of time and money on something that isn't even really guaranteed. Another way to improve your search ranking is with inbound links. Inbound links are links that are directing to your website found elsewhere on the web. So if you get featured online, you know, your artwork gets written about in a newspaper um, and it's published online. So once people start directing back to your website, Google starts recognizing you a little bit more, seeing that you're relevant to other people and that your website brings enough value that people are linking back to it. First of all, you wanna make sure that you are connecting all of your social media accounts back to your website, you know, Instagram, Facebook, really anything that you can. That way there's more inbound links going to your website. You might also want to apply to online features. There are lots of blogs and online galleries that are always looking for artists. If there are any exhibitions that you're in and the gallery shares links to your portfolio website, you definitely want to take advantage of that. There are lots of different ways that you can get links directing back to your website. And lastly, there is content. So you would think that as artists we would be really good at creating content for our portfolio websites right your portfolio website is a bunch of photos or videos or words about 
your art. The problem with that is Google doesn't recognize photos yet. It can't read a photo the way it reads text. So that means that if you are photographing your work and putting that on your portfolio website, you definitely need to do a couple of things to make sure that Google understands what is being shown in the picture. First step that you wanna take is before you ever upload any file to your website, you wanna make sure that the title of the image explains what the photo is about. You can actually learn a little bit more about this in my guide, How to Art. Another tool that you can use to help Google understand what your images are about is including an alt text. Alt texts are really just a space for you to explain what is featured in the photo. Again, you wanna make sure it's relevant. Um, ideally, it has your name involved. That way, when somebody looks up your name, they'll see your work. And here's a big mistake that I always see artists make. I definitely see the value in hosting your blog on um, Tumblr or Blogger or WordPress or something like that. I understand that there's a community surrounding those certain blogging sites, but if you're blogging regularly, you definitely want to make sure that your blog is hosted on your portfolio website so that it can help improve your search ranking. Don't feel like you can't do both. You can definitely get the benefits of hosting your own blog on your own portfolio website, and you can still post the same content on your Tumblr that way your Tumblr followers can see what you're up to and they can kind of engage that way. Another simple thing that you can do to improve the content on your website is actually include your artist statement alongside each of your portfolio galleries. If you wanna learn more about artist statements, you can go ahead and download How to Art. And lastly, make sure that people want to look at your website. One of the most important ranking factors is if your website is actually getting traffic and if it is active. So be sure to share your work on social media, um, get people to go to your website. You can hand out business cards and talk to people about your work in real life. And that will help drastically improve your search ranking. Again, if you would like to learn more about setting up a website, um, social media, what you need to know to write an artist statement, you can go ahead and download How to Art, a beginner's guide to establishing yourself as an artist. Please let me know if you have any questions. All you have to do is leave a comment below. And so I will see you soon. So thank you for watching.